everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to You Can Learn Math. So today we're going to be talking about exponents. Now, I'm sure you're recalling, we're talking about exponents. We're just saying how many times we're multiplying a number by itself. So 5 squared, 5 times 5. If we had 5 cubed, 5 times 5 times 5. And that is what exponents are. But this today is more about when we're combining things with exponents. What if I have something like 5 squared times 5 cubed? What do I do with that? How do I combine that? And I don't mean how do I type those into a calculator and then find out what that number actually is. I'm talking about combine, combining them so it is still in the terms of exponents. It's still 5 to a power. Now there are some rules. We're going to talk about that one and we're also going to talk about when you see this. Okay. These are two different things and we're going to talk about what the answer would be and why the answer would be that. This is something I've seen a lot of students have a problem with remembering this because they're just trying to remember the rule of saying, oh, if it's like this, I do addition. If I do this, I do multiplication. We're going to get into that and talk a little bit about why this is happening, why the why these rules are the way they are and hopefully that'll help. Okay, so first thing we do is we say what does it mean if I'm saying 5 squared times 5 cubed? Well 5 squared as we said is 5 times 5 and 5 cubed is 5 times 5 times 5. So if I'm multiplying these together, I am saying 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. That's 5 times itself 5 times or 5 to the fifth power. So that is my answer. Now some of you may have noticed 5, our fifth power, is the same as 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 5 squared times 5 cubed equals 5 to the fifth. And that is our shortcut. 5 squared times 5 cubed, I add those exponents when they are being multiplied. A very uh, important thing to note is this only works, our 5 squared, 5 cubed, when the base number is the same. For example, 12 squared times 3 cubed, I'm not going to be tempted by saying, okay, that's 12 times 3 is 36 and 2 plus 3 is 5. Okay, 36 to the power of 5. Nope, that's not what's happening here. And let's break it down so you can actually see why this is not the case. 12 squared is 12 times 12. 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3. Now 36 is 12 times 3. But let's write it out. Let's say if we had, and I'm going to use my little rainbow, woo, it would be 12 times 3 times 12 times 3 times 12 times 3 times 12 times 3. And I am running out of room because it's so many. Let me zoom out. Times 12 times 3. All right, I have 5 12s and 5 3s in there. Is that the same thing as this? No, it isn't. This has two 12s and three threes. This down here has five 12s and five threes. These are not the same thing. 
it's tempting to want to do this because we've got, oh, we've got a 12 times a 3. It doesn't work that way. It's totally different things. This only works when we're talking about the same base like we have here. And my mouse just went crazy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the same base. Then we can combine them. So the same thing is true if we transfer over and we're talking about variables. Same rule applies. We can use it. x squared times x cubed. It's the same base, x and x. So it is x, and then we add 2 plus 3, x to the fifth. And if we write it out, we can see how this is true. x squared times x cubed, and sure enough, that's x times itself five times. So that, that works. Now what's the other one that I showed you at the beginning? 5 squared cubed. This one, we don't add them, we multiply them. We say 2 times 3 is 6, 5 to the power of 6. Well, why is that? Let's see what's happening. This is 5 squared cubed. So if we use that rule we just learned when they're being multiplied and they have the same base, we add our exponents. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. Or if you want to write them fully out so you can just see it, there is 5 squared times 5 squared times 5 squared. That right there is 6 fives, 5 to the power of 6. Now one thing I have seen a lot, and I want to warn everyone about it, is people get in the habit of, um, in their head when they're trying to remember these rules saying, ah, if I see parentheses, then I multiply the exponents. Okay. Please don't do that because what's going to happen, I've seen this happen too many times so I know it happens, is you're going to get on a test and you're going to see something like this. And you're going to go, oh, parentheses, I remember when there are parentheses, I multiply the exponents, that is 5 to the power of 12. Yes, I got it right. And then it comes back with a big red X on it. Like, what did I do wrong? There were parentheses. You said when there are parentheses that we multiply the exponents. But that's not what's happening here. This is different. This isn't saying 5 to the third power to the fourth power. It's just saying multiply 5 to the third times 5 to the fourth. It's the same as our first example. 5 to the third times 5 to the fourth, where we add them. Okay? And just to show you, to kind of write out the difference, this first one, 5 to the third times 5 to the fourth, you see how there are seven fives? Where if it was five to the third, five to the, ugh, five to the third to the fourth, and I'm going to do this a little. There's one five to the third, two five to the thirds, three five to the thirds, and four five to the thirds. And how many I've, have I got? I have one, two, three. Sorry about that little thing there. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That there is 5 to the 3rd to the 4th. It's when it's a power to a power. As you'll notice, the big difference, it isn't the parentheses. It's that here I have one base, and it's going a power to a power, and there's only one base involved. Over here in this other one, I have two separate bases, each to a power on its own. 
So that's what we're looking for, not the parentheses. I can't stress that enough. I've seen that so many times with kids coming to me. Uh, I say kids, teenagers coming to me <laughs> and asking me, why did I get this question wrong? There were parentheses, so I multiplied. And then I'm talking them through it and explaining it. And it's just, it's a, it's a common thing. It's a, a very understandable common thing to see the parentheses and go, oh, parentheses, I multiply. So please be careful of that. Okay. This also applies. So those are our basic principles. This also applies if we're talking about negative exponents. Negative exponents. So 5 to the power of 3 times 5 to the power of negative 1. We add those together and it's 5 squared. Why is this? Well, if we're talking about 5 to the power of negative 1, a negative exponent flips it. It makes it a fraction. It's 1 over 5 to the power of whatever that uh, power was. In this case, it's just 1. So 1 over 5 to the power of 1. So 5 cubed times 1 over and 5 to the power of 1 is just 5. So it's saying... 5 cubed over 5, or 5 times 5 times 5 divided by 5. Okay, so that's just 5 times 5, or 25. Because if I'm saying 5 times 5 times 5, then divide by 5, boop, those cancel out. I'm just left with 5 times 5, 5 squared, 25. So the same thing applies even if it is a negative. This, this principle, it just works. When we're multiplying things with the same base and the different, um, different exponents, we can add those exponents together when we're multiplying them together. All right, so that's our basic thing about how to combine when we have the same base and different exponents. Um, also plan on having some videos, which I'll provide links to in the description below once those are up, about fractional exponents. And I'll also do, I'll put these, the negative exponents in there as well if you're just looking for negatives and fractional exponents. All right, I think that's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was helpful. And please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps us, keeps us able to keep making these videos for everyone. And hope you have a great day. Bye.